Ladas and gentlemen, this video is the last episode of my Kalima series. If you're one of the OGs, you will know that the last winter I set out on a journey across one of the most inhospitable regions of the planet. I started out in Irkutsk on the shore of Lake Baikal and after passing through the coldest regions of Siberia, I was now ever so close to Magadan, my final destination. Guys, good morning and welcome back to our crossing of the Kalima Highway, one of the coldest, most dangerous and most remote roads in the entire world. We've actually got only 600 kilometers to go until we reach Magadan. However, today we're still in the legendary town of Susuman. And this is the hotel where we spent last night here in Susuman. For today, we've got two main goals here in the legendary mining town of Susuman. The first one will be to just have a walk around the city, the town of Susuman, and just have a look at its main touristic landmarks. And then afterwards, in the evening, we will have to make sure that we can get ourselves a ride onwards to Magadan and we will be able to finish our trip. What are we waiting for? Let us go! The town of Susuman was founded in 1938 when a group of Soviet geologists found a huge reserve of gold and coal around the area 600 kilometers away from Magadan. So what the Soviet Union did was just ship in a huge population to settle the town of Susuman and of course the majority of that population was made up of Gulag prisoners. Afterwards Susuman became the classical Soviet mono-industry town with its economy revolving solely around gold and coal extraction. Its population peaked in the 1980s at around 20,000 people and then afterwards, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, Susuman started suffering from a massive population collapse and now they say that only 5,000 people live here in Susuman which means lots of abandoned derelict Soviet buildings. Like many of the other semi-abandoned settlements in the Magadan Oblast, Susumon is nowadays pretty much a shell of its former past. Which wasn't that great to begin with. <laughs> and anyway, although I'm very excited of being probably the first vlogger to ever make a vlog in Susuman on YouTube, I have to say, it's pretty late in the day already, it's 12 o'clock and the reason for that is that I literally couldn't go out any earlier because when I got up at 7 o'clock it was minus 47 degrees Celsius and now, it's much better now, it's minus 35! <laughs> much better, yeah, trust me! Uh, I'm really wondering who this bald guy might be with a moustache like that and a goatee. Who might this guy be? I don't know. The founder of Susuman, one of the main celebrities of Susuman. A famous singer here in the Magadan Oblast. I don't know. You guys have your guess. What do you reckon? I think a small hint might be that this mosaic is located on what I think is Ulitsa Savieskaya, Soviet street. You can find it there. It's a bit run down, but you can find the sign of the street right between these two Soviet flags. Ulitsa Savieskaya, Soviet street, the main street of the town of Susuman, which I think is a very fitting name for the main street of Susuman just because this town couldn't get any more Soviet. I don't think there's a single building that was built after the 1960s. So that makes sense. There you go, the main street of Susuman. Wow. I'm starting to freeze real bad, so I'm really hoping there's a working cafe here in this town. Это столовая. Ага. И вот где, короче, первые ступеньки. Это кафе тоже. Хочешь кафе, хочешь столовую. Хорошо. Спасибо большое. Да, Давида. Да. Да, Артём. Да, спасибо большое. Очень приятно. Wow, I am absolutely baffled by the hospitality of the people here in Susuman. So I enter this Uyghur cafe. There's an Uyghur cafe here in Susuman. Basically, I forgot that I don't have any cash with me. And of course, I can't pay my card here. And the guys there were like... Oh, what's that? Salat, just salat. Salat, ah, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank
спасибо. Хочешь еще там другой салат нам? А, ну, пока я думаю, что достаточно. Хорошо, спасибо. О, oh, man. Keep swogging up because of the cold. But anyway, so basically I was asking, is there an ATM somewhere? And they were like, oh, don't worry, you're a tourist, you're from Italy, we will give you food for free. And literally, I've got all of this for zero money. And I was like, man, don't worry, I will pass by the ATM later and I will give you the money. And they were like, no, no, don't worry, man, just, it's on us. No worries at all. Wow. So yeah, I'm about to have this Uyghur pierogi with some Uyghur chai, with some Uyghur tea and some random salad. Oh my god, these Uyghur pierogies are the best thing I've ever eaten. Wow. Давайте, что хотите сказать? Итальянцы, привет всем! У нас сегодня праздник. Положу сюда. Спасибо большое. До свидания. До свидания. Wow, what absolute legends here at this cafe. Cafe Skaska, wow. I'm surely going to pass by the ATM later on and I will get back to this cafe and give them some money, surely. They had me eat there a lot for free. That's insane. You can easily walk in the middle of the road here in Susuma just because this town is so empty and you've got very few cars traveling around the streets of Susuma. Look at this. This is basically a Vorkuta, but far from Vorkuta with all these semi abandoned buildings that we can have to the right and that we can see to the left as well. I feel like there are more dogs than people in this town. And actually, I'm really afraid of stray dogs. I know it can happen from time to time that people get attacked by stray dogs and they might have all sorts of rabies and stuff. Yo, I'm scared. Please go away. Please go away. Please don't follow me. Please go away. Please go away. Okay, no, you don't to store no in a Vienna Sprashu yesterday in Naidu. No, 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 у вас как интересный город. Я по пути в Магадан. Да, и Магадан туда дальше. остаться, ну, погулять. А знаете, у вас Ленин стоит, памятник? Стоял раньше на площади, уже нету его. В Магадане есть. А, убрали? Да. А в площади есть еще? Ну, площадь есть, но она пустая, там вы ничего не увидите. Давайте, счастливо, да. не мерзните. Да, Италии, до свидания. So I think there was a bit of a misunderstanding. I asked the lady where I could find the Lenin of Susman and I thought she meant that I was talking about Lenin Square. And she redirected me to Lenin Square but apparently then I asked another guy and he said that there's no Lenin statue at all here in Susman. There used to be one but for whatever reason they took it away, they took it to Magadan. Alright, so I've just decided that I'm not going to upload this video onto YouTube from here from Susumon. How can I come to a place like this in search for the ultimate Lenin of Susumon and there's no freaking Lenin in town? It doesn't. What the fuck? Uh, somebody care to explain why on earth is there a section of a fuselage of an Illusion 18 sticking out of a building here in Susuman? <laughs> this is like so random, it's so funny, isn't it? What the hell? Just as if this town wasn't stuck in the Soviet times enough, you've got the fuselage of a freaking Soviet airplane like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. I'm gonna take a million pictures of it, like for real. I'm gonna take loads of pictures and then I'm going to upload them onto my Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, right? I'm wondering if I can actually enter through the yard here and see if I can take a closer look at it. I don't know. Let's go and ask. What's the worst that can happen? Getting arrested, probably? That's nice. You can come here to
Даже ну, внутри вы, здания? Вы, ну, в здание можете войти, но я не знаю, оно открыто, закрыто. А, спрошу тогда. Да, да. Хорошо, спасибо. Вау, я абсолютно не знаю, когда я вижу вещи, как это. Это фрикин иллюшин-эйтин, хангин из здания. Я не знаю, если это действительно один из этих иллюшин-эйтин, которые еще оперативны где-то в мире. Но что я сделаю, это просто вернуться домой и проверить. И когда я вернусь в этом видео, я вам знаю. Ладно, на каком транспорте? маршрутке. Да, сегодня водитель приедет и еду в Магадан. А Сусуман красивый город, мне нравится. Вы родились здесь? Или... Не, 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 приезжай. Да, зарабатывать, да? Хорошие да. зарплаты здесь? Хорошие. В шахте? Не, на поверхности. А. Сатраги тут золото добывают. А, о, круто. Вот история. я работаю тут недалеко, поселок холодный есть. Да, спасибо Дальше большое. Счастливо. До свидания. It's always pretty creepy when you're walking by the side of the road and then you hear a car approaching and then you can hear them slow down and then they're like, hey, откуда ты? Where are you from? But it's cool, it's nice to have conversations like these. As the hours went by in Susuman, we got closer and closer to the sunset, while the temperatures progressively dropped. At around 6 p.m. I got a phone call from an unknown number. The Marshutka to Magadan was going to come and pick me up soon. The 600 km ride from Susuman to Magadan was going to take approximately 11 hours, so it was going to be a full night ride. However, I didn't spend too much time sleeping as this was the very last stretch of the Kalima that I was traveling on. While getting closer and closer to Magadan, I started reminiscing of all the great memories I made traveling on this very road, from Yakutsk, passing by Oymyakon, Susuman and so many other fascinating places. Good morning from Magadan! According to all the sources that I could find on the internet, a non-stop drive from Susuman to Magadan takes around 11 hours. However, our driver was speeding like a madman the whole way through and we got to Magadan at 3 a.m. in the morning and I had nowhere to go but fortunately there was a cafe that was open 24-7 so I was waiting for sunrise there until morning and then I went for a walk, I went to the only souvenir shop in town I bought this hat, it says Kalima in Cyrillic over there and I've officially made it I've crossed the 2000 km stretch of the coldest, most dangerous and most remote road in the world. I can tell you that it's much warmer here, it's minus 15 degrees Celsius and it feels like summer. <laughs> So I did tell you that it's warm now guys, but I think it's not warm enough for my ears yet. That's why I'm wearing this now. They were starting to get really cold. And I actually wonder what happens if you were to lose one or both ears to frostbite. Because I mean, you can easily live without fingers, for example, but without ears, like what happens? You just become deaf and that's it. I don't know. I don't want to find out. Anyway, I'm just walking now by the side of the road to the bay. Oh, Magadan, I don't actually think this is the safest place to be because cars are coming along really close by. But anyway, this is just to show you what the main economy of the town revolves around now. Of course, the gulags around the Kalima and around Magadan were established because of the huge reserves of gold and minerals and natural resources in the areas around Magadan. However, after the abolition of the Gulag system and the collapse of the Soviet Union, industries like the gold one have been gradually declining and now the main economy of the town of Magadan revolves mainly around the fact that Magadan is the second largest seaport in this part of Russia, second only to Pietropavlovsk Kamchatsky, in Kamchatka of course. Очень дорого? Конечно. Да? Ну, помидоры 900 рублей. Например, когда э, здесь помидоры стоят, э, ну, к примеру, 800 рублей, э, на материке они стоят 60. Представляете, разница а, какая? Угу. Это больше, чем в 10 раз. Да. Это ну, это как в конце мира Магадан, можно да, сказать. Да. Хотя зарплаты здесь небольшие, да. Ага.
the Magadan Bay on the Sea of Akhotsk, one of the most remote regions of Russia, eight hours by plane from Moscow. But we made it via land all the way to here, all the way to Magadan, in a similar way, although a lot more comfortable, to the prisoners, to the Gulag prisoners who are being shipped to Magadan via land, by train, to work in the gold mines around the hills of Magadan. And they were surely poorly dressed and very poorly equipped to handle the climate conditions of a place where the sea freezes constantly every winter. So I just set on a trek across the frozen sea of Akhotsk to see if I can maybe reach those guys over there in the distance they're probably fishermen and they're drilling holes in the ice to catch some fish and i want to see if i can take some pictures of them <laughs> it's just that they're way further than i thought they would be man it's gonna take me a lot Больше метра. О, совсем безопасно тогда. Хорошо, спасибо. Вы откуда? Я из Италии. Ого. Да, да, поэтому рыбалку я не... У нас рыбалка в Италии нет. Это как ваш хобби, работа. Хобби. Хобби? хобби О. Да. да, но летом я тоже сделал в Италии. У нас реки не, не замерзают, реки <laughs> и море. Ну, хорошо, тогда, если безопасно, я вернусь по льду. Да, спасибо, было очень интересно. Удачи, всего доброго. Спасибо, всего доброго. That was fun! I didn't want to scare the fish away, however, so I didn't spend too much time with them. But, yeah, good luck with the Ribalka, with the ice fishing.